What's up, YouTube? I'm Jeremy, an associate librarian at the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. Today, I'm going to be taking you from zero to podcaster in about 20 minutes or less. And when I say zero, I mean if you know nothing about podcasting, watch this video. I will show you how to make your very own podcast. So, what is a podcast? Well, a podcast is basically an audio series, or video, but it's mostly audio, that's available to stream through a podcast app known as a podcatcher. A podcast is kind of like a radio show, but on the internet. You don't have to tune in and listen at a particular time. Podcast episodes are available to download or stream on demand. There are currently over 2 million podcasts in existence right now. Not podcast episodes, 2 million separate podcasts. Your average podcast episode is usually between 20 and 90 minutes, although they can really be any length. There's some podcasts that have extremely short episodes, like 5 minutes. Some podcasts have extremely long episodes. A podcast can be about anything. Interviews, essays, conversations, scripted drama, improv comedy, news, video game reviews, food reviews, extremely specific conversations about one television show. Basically, if you can imagine it, someone has a podcast on it already. And if they don't, that's a great opportunity for you. Anyone can make a podcast. Unlike broadcast radio, you don't need a special license to get started. Now before we start making podcasts, you gotta start listening to podcasts. There are a bunch of different apps you can use to listen to a podcast. If you're on an iPhone, for example, you probably already have Apple Podcasts. If you're on an Android device, you can get Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Pocket Casts, or Google Podcasts. There's way more than that. Find an app you like, start subscribing to podcasts. Now, if you've never heard a podcast before, I'm going to stop right here. That's your homework. Go out, listen to some podcasts. Get excited about podcasts. Come back when you're done, and I'll show you how to make one of your own. If you're still watching, I'm going to assume you've listened to a few podcasts. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to show you the simplest, easiest way to get a podcast started in no time at all. First, I'm going to open up my favorite browser, Google Chrome. No offense to Firefox fans. Next, I'm going to go to anchor.fm. That's A-N-C-H-O-R dot F-M. There's a bunch of different services for hosting and distributing podcasts. Anchor is great because it's free. It makes it really simple. And it's actually what we use for Voices from the Sax, the podcast for the Mandel Public Library of West Palm Beach. To get started, believe it or not, click the Get Started button. So, of course, they're going to make you create an account first. Just put your full name, your email address, make up a password, and click this I'm not a robot thing. All right, I'm not going to let you watch me type in a password, so I'm going to skip this part, and I'll see you on the next screen. All right, so I just hit sign up. It took me to this screen. Welcome to Anchor. So it's got a little walkthrough for getting your podcast started. But it's also telling me in this alert, before we can publish any episodes, we have to verify the email address. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now on my phone. So I have my email app open, and it looks like I got an email from no reply at anchor.fm. The subject line is, confirm your email address with Anchor. And the email says, hey there, to get started on Anchor, please verify your email address by clicking here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that link. And then you have to log in with the email and password that you set on the previous screen. So hopefully you still remember that. So after I entered my email address and the password that I just set, I tapped the login button and it says email verified. Easy enough. I'm going to refresh this page now just to make sure this alert goes away. Perfect, it's gone. So my email address is verified. I'm ready to start publishing my very first podcast episode. I'm going to follow along with Anchor's little getting started guide here. Make your first episode. There's the purple button. Let's do it. Like I said, Anchor is maybe the easiest way to get started producing and distributing your podcast from scratch. You can actually record your episode directly into the browser. I'm going to click this record button here. It says we can hear you. Start recording now. 
Just make sure you have the right microphone selected. I'm in the digital recording studio here at the library on the second floor, so I'm going to select our little setup here, this Focusrite USB audio. I'm ready to start recording my episode, so I'm going to click the button, start recording now. Hello, this is Jeremy, your host, and this is our brand new library podcast. I'm here today with a very special guest, Beck. How are you doing today, Beck? I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> She's doing pretty good. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Tune in next time. Wow, that was easy. Thanks, Beck. Bye, Beck. As you can see, the recorded audio has now showed up in our little library here. We can click this plus button or click and drag to add it to the episode. And that's the episode. 22 seconds is a little on the short side for a podcast episode, but like I said, your podcast episodes can be as long as you want. I'm comfortable with this, so I'm going to hit Save Episode. We're still going to need to come up with some basic information, like what to call this episode. Let's call it First Ever Amazing Podcast Episode Starring Jeremy, that's me, with special guest Beck. So each episode is going to have an episode description. They'll show up on all the podcatchers. So just really briefly, what do you want to say about that episode? Keep in mind that whatever you put in the episode description is going to help your listeners find you. So be descriptive. I'm going to describe this episode pretty simply as this was my very first ever podcast episode. And I can't wait to share it with the whole entire world. Perfect. I want to publish it right now, but you can schedule it if you want. I'm not going to add any episode art right now because this is a quick zero to podcaster guide. But I'll say this is the first season, episode one. It's a full episode. It's clean content, no swears, no cusses, nothing naughty. So I'm going to scroll back up and this purple publish now button, I'm going to mash that. Episode published. So now it's going to prompt you to fill out some more details about your podcast. So we gave the podcast episode a title, but so far we haven't given a title to the podcast as a whole. In other words, the episode has a title, but the series does not. What do we want to call our show? We're going to call it Jeremy's Amazing, Super Cool, Best, Extra Special Podcast podcast description. This is also going to help your listeners find your podcast when they search. You probably don't want to be as cavalier with your naming and descriptions as I'm being, but this is just a demonstration. You can describe and name your podcasts and episodes however you wish. I'm going to put, this is obviously the best podcast you'll ever hear in your entire life. A bold claim. You can also choose a category. Once again, this will help listeners to find you. I'm not quite sure how to categorize that episode we recorded, but let's say drama. It is in English, so I'll select English, continue. So here's a cool little feature. Anchor will help you create cover art for your podcast. Now, if you're going pro, you probably want to commission some real podcast art, but if you're just getting started, this is actually a pretty handy tool. So you can search the web for a photo to use. Obviously, you need permission to use whatever image you are using. There are free sources for images, but that's a bit outside of the scope of this guide. You can upload an image from your computer, but what I'm going to show you is the Choose One For Me. This is a step-by-step -step guide. Anchor will help you come up with your podcast cover art. This is going to show up as your visual representation in the podcatcher apps. They've selected this photo that we're allowed to use. I want to zoom in a little bit. Let's get those weird light fibers or whatever that is. Continue. This is not necessary. You can publish a podcast episode without cover art, but really, what's a podcast without cover art? So here they automatically took our title and applied it to this background. So this is the podcast cover art as it exists. Now you can change up your options here. You can change the color of the title. I'm going to keep it white for that contrast. You can change the alignment. You can change the typeface or font. They've inserted the anchor logo here, but you can actually uncheck that to remove it. I'm going to keep it there because you know what, anchor? You deserve the publicity. 
you can change your covers. So if you just want to whip something like this up to get started, that's great. You can always come back later after you've commissioned some sweet cover art on Fiverr and uh, change that out down the road. So let's hit update cover art. All right, that cover art is good to go. And now it's asking, am I ready to distribute my podcast? In other words, am I ready to share this podcast with the world? When I hit that yes, distribute my podcast, it's going to send the podcast out to all the major podcatchers. I'm talking Apple Podcasts, Pocket Casts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, most of the big ones. It usually takes a couple days for it to actually show up in the podcatchers. You have to wait for the system to process it and to index your episodes. You don't have to distribute your podcast, but if you want listeners, it is recommended. I'm going to skip this step because this is just an example. I don't actually want to distribute this podcast, even though it is, as I claimed, the best podcast you'll ever listen to in your entire life. If you want to distribute, just hit this Yes, Distribute My Podcast button. It's simple as that. I'm just going to exit out of here for now. And it says Episode Published. That is it. That is everything. It'll dump you out back on your episode dashboard. This is where you can find analytics. You can see how your episode is performing, and you can get a link to the episode itself. If you want to share this, maybe you just want to share your podcast with your friends or something like that, you just hit that copy link, and if you go to that URL, it'll take you to the public page for the episode. Anchor is a pretty well-designed website, so this episode page is actually pretty attractive. It looks sort of professional. Maybe this is a good way to impress your friends. But there you go. That's a podcast episode. How long did that take? 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Now, we assumed that you have access to a microphone, whether that's a separate microphone that you plug in, or some sort of internal microphone actually in your computer system. If you don't have a microphone, or you just want to use our fancy microphone here at the library, you can reserve time in our recording booth. Just go to our website, wpbcitylibrary.org, or drop by the second floor. We'll show you how to do it. Now, I just showed you the quickest, easiest way I know to go from having no podcast to having a podcast. How can we complicate this? Recording directly onto your browser is easy and simple, but it doesn't give you a whole lot of control. If you want to experiment with some more interesting edits, I'm going to recommend a tool called Audacity. It's a free, open source, audio editing application, and it's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. I'm going to open it in a new tab, audacityteam.org. There we go. This is the Audacity website. You can see if I scroll down, there's a download Audacity button right here, showing you it's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux systems. If I hit download Audacity, it's going to automatically detect what system I'm running and give me the appropriate download for that system. Download will start in two, one, zero seconds. Download is started. We're just going to let that download complete, and it's already done. Fantastic. Thank you, Library Wi-Fi. I'm just going to click to open that up. Now, it might ask for your password for your computer in order to make changes to your system. Ours does. I'm not going to let you watch me type in the password because that's not very secure, and I've had to go through multiple cybersecurity trainings. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the installation process. It's going to walk you through it. Just go ahead and keep hitting next for the most part. It's pretty simple. And I'll see you on the other side of the installation. So here we are. We have installed Audacity. I can see the icon showed up on the desktop. It looks like this. It's got the little headphones. I'm going to double click it to open that up. And here we go. This is Audacity. This is a new project. I'm going to save it first. I know we haven't done anything, but I'm going to save the project because sometimes Audacity runs a little bit better if the project is already saved. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to choose a location. I'm going to put it on the desktop. And I'm just going to call it Podcast Episode 2. All right, so I've saved nothing, but now the project file has a location. And I'm going to show you, actually, if I open up that location... You can see it's on the desktop here, podcast episode two. It's got the little Audacity icon. This is an Audacity project file. In other words, these are working files. These are files that you use while you're working on the podcast. It's a file that Audacity can read, pretty much Audacity and nothing else. This is not the kind of file that you're going to publish or share with anyone. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. This is just 
your file as you're working on the podcast. So I'll go back to Audacity. This is a quick getting start guide, so we're not going to dig too deep into the interface here. The bare minimum you need to know, these are your basic controls. It's got the usual VCR, DVD player, streaming player, controls. You got pause, play, stop, go to the beginning, go to the end, and record. So let's hit that record. Hello, hello. Welcome to our second ever podcast episode. I'm so excited. Here it goes. And that was it. That's the end of the podcast episode. Love it. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to hit this square for the stop button. That's it. Now you can see as it was recording, it created this track here. This uh, long rectangle here is a track. You can create another track by going track, add new, if you want to layer your recordings. Uh, I don't want to do that though, and that's overcomplicating things fast. So the only other thing I'm going to mention is basically the horizontal axis, this left to right display here. That's your time in seconds at this view. So we can see our recording is just under 21 seconds long. These blue blobs here show how loud your recorded audio is. Now generally you want to keep that recorded audio for the most part within the 0.5 and negative 0.5 range. That's kind of the sweet spot for recording in Audacity. It's okay if you have some peaks going briefly outside of that, but what you really don't want is end-to-end -end blue blobs. That means your recording volume is a little too loud and it's going to be clipping and your audio is going to sound bad. So if you keep it generally within that 0.5 and negative 0.5 range, your audio is going to sound a lot better. If you need to adjust your microphone recording volume, this area up here indicates the recording volume. I have this up all the way to maximum because we're actually handling the recording volume a little bit differently, but you can turn that down if you are clipping. The only other thing I'll mention is you just want to make sure you have the right microphone set up. So this is the microphone menu. It's got that little microphone icon on it. I got the correct microphone selected, and then you can select your headphones or whatever you're using to listen to your recordings there. There's a bunch more you can do in Audacity, but you know I'm going to be making more videos about using Audacity, so check out the Audacity videos we already have up. More to come in the future, stay tuned. But for now, hey, let's call this an episode. This is episode two, right? Like I said, we can't use the file that we're working on right now. This is Audacity's working file, so we'll have to export this to share with the world. Now, exporting is pretty simple. File, export, and we'll export as mp3. That's pretty much the universal standard file format for sharing publicly. So once again, we'll choose our location. I'm just gonna save right to the desktop because life is short. Now it's gonna prompt you like this to enter some metadata. Now metadata for mp3 files is just some information about the track itself. Mostly this is here so audio players can read this information and display the artist and track title within the audio player itself. For podcasting, this doesn't really matter too much because you're going to set the podcast title and pretty much everything else with your podcasting service. However you do it, the metadata isn't really going to show up unless someone actually downloads your podcast file, which is not the conventional way to listen to podcasts. But just to be on the safe side, doesn't hurt to add some metadata. So artist name, that's me. I'm going to put Jeremy. Track title, we're just going to call this episode two. Album title, I'm just going to put the name of the podcast. Jeremy's very cool, extra, special, super good podcast. I already don't remember what I called the podcast title, but it was something like that. Track number, I'm going to put 02 because this is the second podcast episode. Year 2021. For genre, genres podcast. Comments, this is a great place to put your podcast website or social media or anything like that. Any little comment you want to leave and we'll hit OK. Now I'm going to show you right over here. Podcast is saved to the desktop podcast episode two. If you right click and go to properties and open that up, you'll see it is an MP3 file. So this is no longer your working file. This is an exported version. If you keep working on your podcast episode by opening the project file, which is 
this one, podcast episode two, it's not going to automatically change your exported MP3 version. You'll have to export it each time you make a new version. It's really easiest if you finish your podcast completely, then export it as MP3, then upload it. You're going to save yourself a lot of trouble and avoid having to re-upload and re-export your podcast episodes each time you edit something. So I'm comfortable with this episode, as comfortable as I'm ever going to be, really. So I'm going to go back to Anchor, have it open right here. I'm going to hit New Episode because I'm already logged in. You might have to log back in if it's been a while. And then instead of hitting Record this time, I'm going to upload that MP3 that we just exported. So there's a link here that says Click to Upload or Drag Files here. So I can click that, and it opens up this open menu. At least this is what it looks like in Windows. And then I can see Podcast Episode 2, MP3 file, right on the desktop. But actually... You can also just click and drag directly to that area. Click and drag it right onto that panel there. So if I drag it, it's uploaded. You can do it either way. So now we gotta wait for it to process. Oh, it's already done. So it's uploaded the episode to Anchor. Anchor has processed it. Got the episode title there. Actually, I think it got that from the metadata, so that's maybe one argument for entering proper metadata. Anchor reads it and uses it as a starting point. Good to know. So I'm not going to add any more clips. That's the full episode, so I'll hit Save Episode. Once again, what do we want to call this episode? Episode 2, the even better, best podcast episode ever. What do you want your listeners to know? Episode Description. Hmm, what do we want our listeners to know? This is another episode of your new favorite podcast, Jeremy's Extra Special Podcast, whatever I called it. I, I don't remember what I called it either time, but you get the idea. It's the same as it was last time, season number, episode numbers two. It's a full episode. We already got our podcast cover art. We don't need separate cover art for the episode. It is clean. I did not cuss any swears or swear any cusses. Let's hit publish now. There you go. Episode published. We just made two podcast episodes. If you followed along, welcome to the world of podcasting. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you love podcasting as much as we do. If we went a little too fast or you found anything confusing... Don't worry, this was a quick getting started guide. There's a lot more to it. Feel free to come book an appointment to use our recording space and our mixing station. There's a lot to learn with podcasting. Really, the best way is just to get in there, experiment, learn as you go, try new stuff. That's the best way to do it. There's tons of guides out there for using Audacity and editing your episodes in Audacity. Like I said, we have some on our YouTube channel already, and we'll be making a lot more in the future, so hit that subscribe button. And if you got anything useful out of this, I would certainly appreciate you mash that like button. That does help new listeners to find our YouTube channel, which helps more people to learn and makes our library grow even stronger. All right, that's it for today. Stay tuned for more videos and tips and tricks. If you're curious about podcasting and you want to record your own in our studio, come on down to the library. We'll help you get an appointment, and I can't wait to hear your podcast.